welcome back. We're going to be learning Waterfall by the Stone Roses in this. We're going to need a capo on our fourth fret. So that gives us a D sus2 shape, which is what we're going to play for the most part. And that tone is coming from the Tribute by Catlin Bread, a new overdrive pedal I just brought out. And I'm going to be using this for that part. If I tweak the tone settings like this. you got that um, kind of cocked wah tone as well. But I'm just going to use this pedal rather than a wah wah. You also want to dial in a bit of chorus as well. And for that I'm using the Astra Modulation Machine. And I'm using the Seth Backer Shoreline T in neck position. So I think that gets pretty close. The intro riff goes like this. Okay, so let's stop there and do that bit. It's not difficult. You've basically got, I'm using my first and second fingers here, right? To play this D sus2 shape, which is like a D5 shape with an open E, or open top string, right? Because it allows me to do the next part easier. The key to this is the delayed pull off. That is the nuts and bolts of this main riff. Because otherwise you've got this. Okay, but what he does is he plays. So you've got zero, three, two, zero. And then he pulls off that note. Okay, so just practice that until you get it. Because the second half of this phrase is super easy. It's just eighth notes. Okay, zero, zero, four, zero, right? So I'm using my third finger to hit that fourth fret. Because you want it to ring out as much as you can, right? One thing you might find that happens if you're a bit too heavy and clunky with your fingers, which I am sometimes, you'll hear this. Here, can you hear me hammering that note on, right? So you're getting... So you're actually hearing the second fret a bit too early. Well, second fret relative to the capo, right? So when you go to play the open uh, D string, right, you'll hear that one too. And to prevent that, just go lightly with your first finger when you resume the D5 shape, right? And if you do it slowly enough, when you go to the... My finger's actually just resting on the string there, it's not fretting it. And then when I hit the, I'm then squeezing down with my first finger. So then you get. So it sounds a bit cleaner. It doesn't matter if you want it to all ring out, but um, that's my preference for doing that anyway. Then you go to the fifth fret. As I've been playing this, I've realized an easier way of doing it. But the way I've tabbed it is. Right, a run down, five, four, two on the D string. So slowly that would give you. back in right so that's the phrase but you could actually just play the open G string right so you could play so 
So there's two options there. All I'm doing is, is instead of playing that fifth fret, I'm just playing the open G. So let me do that whole bit slowly and then we will move on. We've got. Okay, that last bit at the end actually is a triplet. Um, a7, sus4. Okay, 02030 from the A string. And then you just play the third fret. So it's two, ba ba ba, and then back into the main riff. So. so it goes around that whole thing several times. And then when you come to the chorus, you're going to play two of these. Then this part changes. And then back into the main main part, right? So the first part you already know, but the turnaround, rather than playing is here. Exactly the same picking pattern. So it's three on the fifth fret. Two. And then you've got this. Not sure what that is, an A minor seven sus two? I don't know. Anyway. Then back around. Another turn around. And this time it's not staccato, you play. And then you add your little finger to the B string. So both of those chords ring out for two beats and then you're back into. Into that again, okay? Now next up you have this, it's like an E minor to G part, but you're gonna play. That's that part. So you've got E minus G. And then I think it's that A7 sus4. Okay, so those are the chords that are being played behind this part, but you're going to play. Okay, and I'm fretting it here using my first and second fingers just because that's what's comfier. You may find it easier to do to do that, but I find that easy because then my my second finger can come over and hit the third fret from that just feels quite natural. So then you've got just your third finger and you need your first finger to spare up here. So there I'm doing the second fret on the G string and the fourth fret on the D with that rhythm. Same rhythm all the way through. That's the same as the first one. And then this run down. Again. And then back to that. So you'll hear an overdub guitar part come in and over the top with this. All that stuff, right? So I've just changed to the second setting on the Catlin Bread. You could probably use a cocked wah to, to get you there. Um, but I think this, um, this sounds really, really close. And it comes in after the second time round of the... So on the fourth beat, you play this. And then you're into this next section. So that would be. And 
and then into that section. So let's do the preceding part first. It's pretty straightforward. So from here. <laughs> These fills are coming in on the fourth beat of each bar, okay? That is a pull off from the second fret to the open uh, D, but you're gonna bend it up ever so slightly. As you, so it's a, just a really exaggerated pull off, really, but you do pull the, the note sharp. Then you've got this two, three hammer on. And sometimes you'll catch both. A and D string, right? First time he doesn't, he just plays, right? And then you do play the two strings. So you've got, this time you catch them both. So then you go in second to fourth fret. So that should be enough to get you through that part. The next bit is this. And then there's another shorter version um, after that. So let's just go for this staccato stuff first. You've got. That's the first riff. First and the third riff are the same. So you've got. So there's four, right? And then, then a rest on the next bar with another four, but the rhythm's slightly different. So the first rhythm is, second rhythm is three, four, one. So the second half of both of those bars are identical. And then the third one is the same as the first. And you're just hitting the open two strings there, but I also put my second finger there. So you're essentially playing a D, right? With A in the bass. But uh, just in case you wanna strum a bit harder, makes sense to kind of hold that D shape in case you overshoot. But then you're gonna play. back into the staccato part again, right? So it's marginally shorter, you just play. Then back around. And then you've got this. Our standard overdrive setting and then into the main riff. Play that four times and then over the top you'll hear, uh, with no chorus actually, you'll hear a very clean. And around, right? So that's that's the riff. It's just three, five on the B and the G. So you do that th um, for three bars and then just. And you're done, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Bye.